Goddess. I'm Isaac, the host that will lose their train of thought about every five seconds. If you also want to start a podcast like Milk and Lettuce, maybe make one even more refined than I do, I highly recommend going to anchor.fm. It's free. Um, You do not need to pay them anything. You can um, have them publish it. Uh, They do have it on uh, Apple, Google, Spotify, and others. You can just hit auto-distribute and let them take care of the rest. That's what I did. That way I don't have to worry about any of all that. Yeah. Words words can be hard. Um, but yeah, it's, it's totally free. You can make money. There's no minimum listenership required. There's many different tools all right there. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started and please send me your podcasts i would love to listen to them thank you so much thank you for to you the listener and to anchor fm for being the new home to milk and lettuce about 25 episodes or so Uh, that said this may be the one to get me cancelled yay first off I do want to say that so I know this is a podcast and for the most part, podcasts on most streaming platforms are not subtitled. Um, however, I post mine to YouTube. They go live one week after the original published date on YouTube. Um, I post them live as soon as I record them. I will record, upload, post all on the same day. Sometimes, like, for now, it's 11.45 at night. So, it'll start recording today, go live tomorrow. Um, (laughs) however, that said, I don't generally subtitle my podcasts on YouTube. Mostly because the amount of time it would take for me to sit there listen to the whole thing over and type out the subtitles would be a lot of work I am a one man show here I don't have any help so I don't have anyone to edit anything that I do (laughs) like none whatsoever uh I don't know Um, I know that, so, okay, also, another quick little update thing. If you notice that I was distracted in my latest appearance of Red Zone, um, I was, uh, I got a lot going on, and, you know, I'm still coming back from, like, my little mental break whatever um you know you know said it before I'll say it again sometimes you just need to take a break um for me it wasn't so much as like creator burnout it was just life burnout I just kind of crashed uh I I couldn't really bring myself to talk to anybody my meds are starting to kick in that's not great uh yeah you know it should happen you know there's nothing we can do to prevent it uh we can all we have to do is ride the wave 
until it finally ends and then we can go back to what we were doing. Unfortunately, I was caught in a fucking riptide. But, <laughs> excuse me. I don't know what that was. But yeah, so. Uh, I feel like I got a mosquito bite in my throat. I'm covered head to toe mosquito bites. Um, it was July 4th, two days ago. And yeah, I. <coughs> excuse me. Damn. I don't know. But anyway. Um, <laughs> so the reason though that I say that this episode may be the one to get me cancelled is I'm going to talk about religion and more specifically my experience with the Christian church. So uh, let me just start by saying my grandmother is well I've got two grandmothers most people do um, one of which was and still is extremely Catholic um, I never went to Catholic church really I went to that church her church once and it was with a friend of mine never went again that's actually a lot of things I went to a church for like once not sure why I just I never went back um there was ah uh, shit I lost my train of thought I know I went to the church in my hometown too once did not go back. Oh, wait. <sighs> Heading on. Uh, I went twice. I don't remember why the second time. The first time was with a friend. But yeah, so... Basically, though, what happened with me and my current rather disdain for Christianity as a whole. Um, and I also do want to say that it's not all churches. I will acknowledge that. Um, some churches are very very accepting. Um, they don't care what race, uh, previous religion, like religious affiliation, um, sexuality. None of that. They don't care. You know, if you're willing to hear what they have to say, they're willing to have you. My experience was not with one of those types of churches. I went to a Baptist church. Um, I know I said hometown already, too. Um, I often say my, quote, hometown is Duluth, Minnesota. It's not, but I just say that. Um, but yeah, like, it's, it was a city outside of it, but whatever. Um, so there's this church in Duluth, and oh, uh, also, back to the whole hometown thing, uh, that church that was in my hometown was in my legitimate hometown. There's not a lot of churches there. Duluth, however, there's a fucking lot in Duluth. Um, <gasps> had to yawn again. Damn. Anyway, uh, yeah, this particular church was redacted Baptist church or we'll just call it that um, so they basically like I started going there with a friend but I kept going there uh, you know having a Catholic grandmother it's all about religion my mom however was forced to do the Catholic thing 
she decided that her kids would choose religion. Um, we weren't baptized. Actually, I think I was. I think I was baptized. I'm not sure. Now I gotta ask my mom. I know I had a godfather and mother. According to her. And according to this baby book I had. But never really knew who they were. I met them once when I was like 10. So yeah. Um, I don't know who these fucking people are, man. I don't know if it was just like godparents and name. Which, I'm a millennial. That's a lot of what godparents are. They're not like actual godparents. Like, there, there's no church thing there. It's just like, hey, do you want to be my kid's godparent? Sure. You know, like, I don't know what godparents even do. I don't think they do anything. I don't think they serve any purpose. But, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, like, I don't know if I was baptized. Um, I don't believe my brothers were, though. But yeah, my mom didn't really force us to do religion. That said, um, I keep yawning. Uh, <laughs> Why is there an American flag on my bar? That is so weird. I don't know what that is. Keyboard preferences. There's an American flag, a letter A. Uh, I. There's like four other ones. Sadly, I can't see what they are from here. Like, it looks like a seven. It's not a seven. It's a katakana, but... <laughs> They're very small and I can't read it. I'm sorry. Anyway, um... Fuck, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, church. Shite. Um, <laughs> yeah, so when... When I went to this one church, though, um, like I said, I started going with a friend. I stopped being friends with her in this church, but, um, yeah, basically they told me that everything that I liked, all of my interests, we're gonna send me to hell. I had to abandon all of my interests and be more Christ-like. And if you didn't already know, hi, I'm Isaac. I'm non-binary and asexual. Lost my virginity many years before I got married. I hated every second of it. I hated every second of it since. Anytime it's happened. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like... I don't conform to fucking anybody. So... If you really think you're gonna conform to a church... better giggity go fuck yourself I, I don't conform to being a person okay babe anyway yeah so I immediately at that point was like yeah, maybe religion's not for me you know but yeah so and another little fun fact about me. 
When I was 16, I went into a group home. I don't know if I mentioned the group home on my podcast before, but I was in a group home. And I was there from 16 to 17. It was 11 months. I played the religion card. I came to realize that if you don't abide by their fucking standards, like I was still a little shit, don't get me wrong, but I went to church every Sunday, one, just to get the fuck out and out of there, uh, on out of there, for even just an hour, and two, just just to make them happy. I did the whole church thing. I did the whole Bible study thing. Made them think that I found God. Now I'm totally changed. I have not done it since. <laughs> it's like, I will pretend to conform. Yay. only good things that came out of that were like bands I found out Flyleaf was more than just that all around me song discovered Skillet, Under Oath you know, found some new bands that I liked, only good thing that comes out of that um (laughs) ooh, August Burns Red that's another good one just the only good thing to come out of it was I I discovered new bands I keep yawning (sighs) okay damn I'm so sorry anyway padding the runtime accidentally just because yawning but yeah so um I don't know I I didn't really like the thought of somebody telling me I wasn't allowed to like something it's like well that's what I like why am I not allowed to like it why does God give a shit what I watch and it's really funny because later in life um, you know because that church that Baptist redacted Baptist church was when I was like 12 so like it was weird to me to hear through other churchy folk later in life that you can just ask uh, ask God for forgiveness You know? And it's like, because, you know, Jesus died for our sins. So it's like, I can just ask for forgiveness. Jesus died so I can watch Friends. I can watch South Park. Because that's the shit I watched when I was 12. So it's like, yeah. I can ask for forgiveness, apparently. I did not know that. My church did not tell me that. (laughs) No, they absolutely fucking did not. They were very adamant on that being wrong. Like, you, no matter what, you will go to hell. And it's like, I did not know this was Catholic. Pardon me. Um, (laughs) But, you know, that was when I was 12. I did the whole pretend to be a good Christian kid when I was 16 and 17. And it's been over 10 years later. And... I have dealt with seeing this so much and it pisses me off because 
I'm sure you are very aware of this. But the fact that there are Christians who use the Bible to hate on LGBTQ+. Um, first of all, if there is a passage in the Bible that says you cannot transition your gender, please, by all means, please point it out. I would... I would love to know where that Bible verse is. Mind you, there are Bible verses that literally tell you to commit murder. There are Bible verses that tell you to kill non-believers in the Holy Bible. In fact, if memory serves me right, there are more passages about committing violent acts in the Holy Bible than there are in the Quran or in the Torah. Again, I might be wrong there. And it might not even be by a wide margin. But the percentage of violent to non-violent passages, I believe, are more so in the Bible. Again, I might be wrong there. Granted, it's been a couple years since I've read that. But, yeah, there are legitimate go fucking kill people passages in the Bible. The fact that it says to marry your deceased brother's spouse. Most women aren't going to go for that. Um, you know, because it's now 2021. Women realize that they are allowed, in fact, to think for them goddamn selves. So, yeah. Um, and it always gets me that one Leviticus, I want to say it was 16, 3 or 9. And I don't know. I'm probably way the fuck off. Could be like 13, 6 or some shit. I don't fucking remember. It's Leviticus. I remember that much. It was a verse stating. One shall not sleep with a man how he lies with a woman. You know the one. You've heard it. But <sighs> problem with that is the fact that it actually actually talking about male family members and I think we can at least almost all agree you should not be sleeping with your male relatives incest is not wincest Thank you for coming to my TED talk. But in all seriousness, um, <laughs> there's a long running joke with that. I, I don't. I think I may possibly make a new episode one of these days regarding. <laughs> That's not. Ah, the context just. I just realized. How I'm phrasing this. And no, it's not about incest. <laughs> like, okay, it is, but it isn't. Um, 
it was a role play, which I'm not making, I'm just digging myself a grave here. But if you've ever seen Durarara, um, the character, uh, Erica, she, like, in, it's more so they do it more in the light novels, but she often ships two male characters in the book and series. Um, she'll ship two male characters. And she doesn't care if they're related. She ships it, she ships it, that's it. Um, so in the role play, uh, this one girl was doing Erica and made like the national ship of allegiance or something like she ripped off something American and decided she was gonna make a ship thing. It was literally just every single fucking character with an X in between their names. So it was just everybody fucks everybody. And then would say like incest is wincest. Because yes, there were relatives in that list. Um there was one there was a uh, you know Orihara family, the Heiwajima brothers, like, it was everybody. Um, <laughs> but she kept omitting Izumi a lot. She would omit Izumi a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I may make a little, uh, mini episode here or there about just kind of reflecting on on that. I'm not going to name the site that we role played on. I'm not going to name my group that we role played in because um, one I don't know if any of them know who I am anymore and two, I don't know if if anyone who would pass by or felt my wrath is listening. Um, hi. <laughs> anyway, back to Christianity. Yay. So. And the reason, though, that I brought up the whole, like, Christianity thing is because there are so many people who are LGBTQ+, that come out to their families or to, you know, the church, and are, are, <laughs> are told that they need to conform. They need to not be LGBT. They have to be cis, straight, whatever. And that is not okay. So churches, like, they wonder why the rate of Christianity has fallen in the last like couple decades or whatever my millennials aren't being Christian it's like you keep pushing people away from Christianity you're not accepting of everybody and there are so many LGBTQ plus who do not want to turn their backs on their church or their religion they still believe in God but they don't want to go to church because those churches are hateful places and there are absolutely churches who accept gays trans all of the above I don't know if there's any churches that would accept me but <laughs> and by gay I mean like every all of it um <laughs> kind of just getting lazy with saying LGBTQ+, honestly. 
I love everybody, but I'm lazy sometimes, okay? But yeah, like, you know, there are churches that are accepting of everybody. And I think, like, okay, if I knew somebody or a group of people who would be willing to work with me on this, I would love to create a site for LGBTQ plus friendly churches. You know, how cool would that be? To find a church in your area without having to do the legwork yourself because other people already have. So by all means, if somebody wants to work with me, you know, we can start with your local area, finding churches there who are open and honest, or open and honest, open and inviting, um, and don't care what your sexuality is or your gender identity, and they will still accept you because honestly, like, I, I do not believe in the Christian ideas anymore, but I am still honestly very accepting of everybody. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what race you are. I don't care what fucking... I was gonna say, I don't care if you like chocolate or vanilla, but I'm not a chocolate fan. I'll eat chocolate like regular chocolate. Like milk chocolate? But I'm not a fan of like brownies, chocolate cake, things like that. Sometimes I'll do, like, chocolate chip pancakes, but they have to be gluten-free because my fucking stomach will blow up. But, you know, um, if you prefer chocolate over vanilla, kindly go fuck yourself. Just kidding. I still love you. I just looked down on you. Um. <laughs> oh my god. I also realized halfway through explaining that, I feel like some people might think I'm not speaking literally, and I apologize for that. I was legitimately speaking literally. That said, strawberry? If it's strawberry flavored, that's not strawberry. No. No. Anyway. <laughs> I keep doing this, like, I keep saying things and then realizing, like, I probably shouldn't phrase it this way, I should say it differently. No, I'm talking about actual flavors, and I apologize if you thought anything different. Fuck. But no, like, you know, I don't care what your personal thoughts are. I don't care what makes you you. I love everybody. And that, you know, so that said, I would very much very, very much like to start like a little crowd raiser so to speak, except there's no money involved. We just find churches that are welcoming of LGBTQ+. You know? And I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate that. And unfortunately, you know, there are people who, you know, come to think of it, it probably exists. Um, if it does, I will post the link to it to find a local friendly church, like LGBTQ plus friendly church. If it exists, I will post it. If I don't have the link in my description, I was not, was not able to 
find a, a source to find a local church. So, yeah. I'll try. I will try to do the legwork for you. As always. Um, I don't mind it, you know. Again, I like learning things. So, if I learn something new, I want to share it because maybe you knew, maybe you didn't know. There's been so many times, too, in my stream, somebody will ask something and it's like, oh, I'm not entirely sure. <gasps> Let's find out together. Yay! Or even if I know, but I can't explain it very well, I'll look it up. We will learn together. Yay! But no, like, I hate that there are homeless teens out there who come out to their parents and are kicked out. As a parent, your child's best interest should be your first priority. You should not be kicking out your teenagers, your children, for trusting you enough to come out as who they are, for trusting you enough to tell you that they were pregnant. Because, yeah. If your teenage daughter comes home because she's pregnant, your teenage son says, I got my girlfriend pregnant. You should not be kicking them out. That is your grandchild you're talking about. Help them to get a job. Help them to be able to financially support themselves and their child. If you got knocked up as a teenager, do you, you think you'd be totally accepting of your parents still? Like, if you came out to your parents and they kicked you out, would you be okay with that? No, you wouldn't. Again, parents should be protecting their children, helping their children, raising their children, not forcing them into conversion therapy, not kicking them out on the streets. And the greatest thing about all of this is Christianity tells you to love thy neighbor. It does not fucking say, love thy neighbor, unless he's gay, unless she's a trans woman. It doesn't say anything of the fucking like. So, I'm just gonna end it here and ask that you go read your Bible. Because, again, first of all, you were reading something that was never originally in English to begin with. It is all translated works. Of course, if you could read the original Bible in its original language, by all means, go right ahead. Excuse me. But I repeat, it is translated and it is not properly translated. And there is a lot of violence in that book. And I don't want to hear any of this interpretation shit. You take it all or you take it as none. You don't pick and choose. And honestly, if Christians want to go massacring people on their fucking bullshit crusade and end up locked up in prison for it, hey, those hateful assholes on the streets. I'm okay with that. But there are some Christians 
who do interpret it as a more loving book. They do interpret it as you should be accepting of all. And to you Christians, thank you. Fucking thank you. From the bottom of my goddamn heart. And I know I'm using the Lord's name in vain, but I'm not a Christian. (laughs) I don't live anywhere near a church. Well, there's some a couple blocks away from me, but actually there's like three a couple blocks away from me. Or if you would include the, uh, whatever they call it, Jehovah's Witness shit. This one has windows. Fun fact. I don't know if you've seen a lot of them. Most don't have windows. <laughs> this one does. It's weird. Uh, an ex of mine one time was like, have you ever noticed how they don't have windows? Like, none of them have windows. And little did he know, we were like 40 minutes away from one with windows. Um... <laughs> What are they called? Why can't I think of the name? I'm very much spacing on the name, and I'm still getting my notifications on TikToks blown the fuck up. That's like temple something. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna learn together. <laughs> Jehovah's Witness Church. Kingdom Hall. That's what they're called. Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. That's what they're called. Oh, I mentioned earlier that my grandmother is very Catholic. That's my maternal grandmother. My paternal grandmother often said shit about Mormon church. A lot of shit to do with the Mormon church, but I don't think she was a Mormon, so I don't know. Maybe she was. She is definitely not religious whatsoever, though. Like, I think it's been decades since that woman's picked up a Bible. Like, um, before I was born, I think. I'm almost 30. Yikes. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, my Catholic grandma doesn't really go to church anymore. Mostly due to, uh, like, mobility limitations. She has a walker all the time now. So, yeah. I don't know if she actually needs it, though. Gonna be honest. That sounds like an asshole thing to say, but y'all don't know my grandmother. Um... Like, don't get me wrong. I love my grandmother. But even her kids will tell you that she's like Munchausen Syndrome level crazy with her health. Like, I... Honestly, probably could use some sort of assistance sometimes. Like, I have crutches. I don't use them daily. And that's ridiculous. The only reason I have them is because... Well, I've had them since I've sprained my ankle. I've just kind of always had crutches. I used to sprain my ankles a lot. Fucking lot. Um, I've I've had just a bunch of ace wraps. The fucking ear boot thing. Um, I have two different walking boots somewhere. It's just because I keep fucking up my legs. <laughs> This is really bad. 
Um, I also have a label tear. Unfortunately, I had one replaced. And I thought I was on that Munchausen syndrome level crazy when I'm like, why does my hip still hurt? It's been a fucking year since I had surgery. I did everything right. I was supposed to do. Why the fuck does it still hurt? So, got another MRI done. And they're like, yeah, it's a, it's a torn again. Not far from the last one. I'm like, are you fucking serious? So yeah, I wasn't crazy. <laughs> it's just torn again, motherfucker. They want me to get another X-ray done, but they want me to go to Duluth, and that's over an hour away from me. It's like there's, um, like, well, I don't know about as many on the way there. I know there's one here in town that does X-rays. sake, I got my MRI done here. I did not have to go all the way down to Duluth for that. I got it done here. They do it here. But unfortunately, uh, the doctor I was primarily seeing for orthopedics retired. I had an OB. She retired. So yeah. Now I'm wondering if my primary is going to retire and I've been seeing him for over 10 years. Almost two decades, actually. Not kidding, like 17 years. Damn. Wondering if he's going to fucking retire now. I've been seeing him since I was a child. I think all my doctors are retiring and I think that, like, I, I feel way older than I should feel about that. I got very off topic. Hi, how are you? I don't ever stay on topic. Welcome to Milk and Lattice. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying half the time. Yay. But, I digress. It is now 12.30 in the fucking morning, and one of my kids is awake, and I'm not sure which one it is. I just hear noise. For all I fucking know, it's all of them. I put them to bed two hours ago. <laughs> Scratch that. Three hours ago I put them to bed. It was around 9 fucking 30. Son of a bitch. I'm actually very tired. And I knew that they were probably still awake and fucking around in their room. It's the babes. The babes is awake. I heard her laughing. Cool. She does that when she takes a diaper off. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Yay. Um, not looking forward to it, but I gotta go do parent things. So, I tried. I tried to record a podcast. Yay. Anyway, you know, I, I did mention a lot of what I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm just going to end it with, you know, don't use a religion that preaches love as a weapon to use for hate. That's backwards ass fucking logic, first of all. And two, you're not practicing your own religion that way. Again, read your fucking Bibles. I'm going to roll the outro now. Maybe. I hope you're having a fantastic morning, day, afternoon, evening, night, everyone you're listening to this. Have a good day.